Right, well, the good news is I am home. And have a look what's been in acid for a few days. How beautiful is that, eh? So what I'm gonna do, we'll do the final way up, and then this specimen here, which probably got somewhere between half a gram and one gram. We're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to do a specific gravity just to get an estimate of how much gold's in there. So just before we start here, I'll just get the biggest piece out, which I think is that one. Beautiful piece. Just tear this one first. And yeah, 2.47 was the biggest piece. Now, if I can do this one hand without spilling gold all over the floor. And there you go, around 54.44. So yeah, I lost a lot. I think before I left, I weighed it, it was about 57. So it's lost a couple of grams in, uh, in stone, which is what you'd expect. Um, limestone and so forth in the gold, but as you can see, it's pretty much pretty clean now. So, rightio, so the next part, this is a specific gravity. Then we'll get our final value, which will probably be a smidgen over 55 grams. Okay, now we're going to try to do work out, or just to get an average of what uh, weight of gold is in this specimen. So, first thing I need to do is just wipe it dry. And again, this is just an estimate, sort of thing. So. So we've got nine, just write that down, 9.6 grams, and just round it up a bit. I need to go to the third, second decimal points. And then what we do is we put some water there. And this is based on the fact that the specific gap gravity of, or the density of quartz is about 2.6 Five. density of gold is 19.3 so what we do is we tear this and then we suspend a little piece of gold just above so it's not hitting we get about 3.43 so, four, three. So next step, trusty uh, calculator here. So we got nine point six divided three point four three equals around two point eight. Okay, so, and then, we've got, actually you've got some pre-tables set on this, so just go into here, and we look at about 2.8, 2.8 is around about 6.5, 6.5, so then you just go 9.6.5 and that's a percentage. Uh, 9.6 times 6.5 percent. Yeah, we get roughly give you about 0.65 grams. And yeah, you know, I said it was somewhere between about half a gram and one gram. So it's obviously just doesn't go in as far as I was hoping to get. It went into that uh, that specimen there. So still going to keep the specimen, beautiful specimen. So that is how you do. And again, it's a rough estimate of um, looking at how much gold you've got in a specie. So, and this you can get, this is from goldprospecting.wa.com, so just gives you a bit of an idea 
of what it is. So I've actually did t I did actually do a um, uh, full piece of gold just to see, and yeah, it came right down the end. It was about came down about fifteen, so about a hundred percent. So so it's another way of just uh, doing the, the you have the check of it. So. So I hope you've enjoyed that little example of how to how to work out, as I said, just an estimate of how much gold you have in a speci. Um, I hope you enjoyed the series. Um, it might be a bit quiet. I don't think I'll be putting up videos every single day. So I hope you've enjoyed the big trip. And uh, yeah, I hope I hope your uh, each of little, little jars rattles like that every time you go out. See you later. Bye.